delivering quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, Supporting every learner's dream. Reaching young Tagalogians where they are today. From the music capital of the Philippines, advancing in the challenge of distance learning. Bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deb and TV. Tarana! Welcome to Lantao Content. Today, let your dreams take flight as new learning opportunities are in sight. I am Teacher Christine Wanzuba and I am excited to share this wonderful journey with you. So, if your head, heart, and hand are in full gear, then there's nothing that you should fear. For today's episode, we're going to explore the world of communication. What is communication? How can you relate its functions to your life? How will you illustrate the communication process? What do these themes signify? Correct! These scenes depict the various forms of communication. Did you know that we began to communicate from the day we were born? Your first cry announced your arrival into this world. Later, your mother realized that you also cry when you are hungry. So, she hands the milk to hush you. Even without saying a word, your face could also convey your thoughts and feelings. Today, you learn to speak, write, and act out to express what you think and feel. So you see, ever since you were younger, there has already been a tremendous need for you to communicate. Now, as a teenager, you realize that communication becomes more vital in almost all your endeavors. You learn to exchange ideas with someone through words or facial expressions. Humans are social beings. Communication is the reason of our existence. As a matter of fact, our endurance is due to our ability to express ourselves and connect to one another and the world where we live in. But do you know that our ancestors did not know how to speak as you do today? Records show that early men used other communication techniques like gestures, symbols, sounds, drawings, and sign languages. Words and languages developed much later in human history.
Over the years, communication has progressed tremendously and language has advanced alongside it. Now, in the 21st century, we realize that communication is the bloodline of the society. Without it, there wouldn't be me, you, and us. This time, I want you to open page 6 of your self-learning module. You're going to identify the different ways of communicating with others. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Much has been said about communication and its importance, but now lies the biggest question. What is communication and why do we communicate? Communication is a two-way process of connecting both living and non-living things. It is also a means of sharing and exchanging messages, information, ideas, and feelings for mutual understanding. Let us further define communication using the two key terms stated earlier, message and understand. Communication is the message understood. For communication to take place, these two are a must. First, there should be a clear message. Second, the message must be understood by the receiver for whom it is meant. Communication is social interaction through messages. Think of someone telling, it is very warm today. In this case, we are communicating what we experience. The weather being warm is what we feel or experience physically. Thus, we may say that communication is a sharing of experience. In our society, we all interact with messages. Without interaction, a society can survive. For social interaction is always through messages. We exchange ideas and interact with others. We transact and then we negotiate. Communication made all this possible. Imagine a world where there is no communication. People are not able to speak or interact with others, even to their family members. Such a situation can be very lonely and problematic, all things being equal. Without communication, life is futile and all forms of human relationships will die. Communication is indeed very important. There are also times when we fail to communicate effectively, which results to misunderstanding or miscommunication. Why do you think this thing happens? And how do these gaps be avoided? Was there a time when you were misunderstood because of the volume of your voice or the rate of your speech when you talk with your friends or acquaintances? Or your non-verbal actions that you project or incorporate in your speech during face-to-face -face communication? Maybe you are misinterpreted when you send texts or chat messages because those messages are often brief and devoid of emotions. 
Were you a victim of those unfortunate circumstances? Let us now try to consider the process of communication. How does communication take place? Who are involved? What processes are considered? By understanding the communication process, we can duly avoid misunderstanding or miscommunication. Our everyday transactions with people follow the communication process. As seen in the illustration, communication begins when the speaker or source of communication responds to a stimulus and decides to encode or transmit in the form of message or a code through a particular channel or means of communication. The receiver then decodes or interprets the message sent and responds accordingly based on his interpretation of the message. This response comes in the form of feedback sent to the original source of communication or sender. As the communication transaction continues, the sender and receiver may exchange roles until understanding is achieved. Barriers to communication sometimes block the transmission of the message, thereby creating misunderstanding. Do you even care why do we communicate? Since communication is certain in our lives, it comes naturally and unknowingly. Communication serves many purposes. Here are only few reasons why. From the table above, we realize that we constantly engage in communication in any place at all times. Indeed, we cannot help but communicate. This time, I want you to open page 11 of your module. Think of communication transactions in your daily life. Enumerate situations where communication takes place. Then, indicate the result of communication transaction and tell whether it is successful or not by writing the elements that made it so and specify its function. Use a separate sheet of paper to write your answers. As you leaf through the pages, don't forget to answer other activities found on your modules, not just to further your understanding on the topic, but also uncover your creative skills. Take a look at page 13. Create a comic strip showing how you would communicate to your community. The advantages of following health protocols and guidelines amid COVID-19 pandemic in your municipality or province. You may cut out pictures of people or authorities to depict your character, but be sure to write your own original scripts and text. It's high time that you answer your post-assessment activity on page 15 of your module. Don't forget to use a separate sheet of paper to write your answers. You may also answer the additional activity on page 17 of your module to broaden your knowledge on our discussion. That ends today's lesson. See you again on the next episode of Lantao Compre our school on air through television. This has been your fan K6, teacher broadcaster, teacher K, leaving you with these words. Communication is power. Unleash it, show it, share it.